In this video, I'm going to solve practice problems on inverse trig functions. The first problem we have states that y is equal to the sine of the inverse cosine of x. The simplest way to solve this kind of problems is to separate them into different parts to make the problem as simple as you can. So I'll show you. We can say that the inverse cosine of x is u like what we had in a formula. So then we'll have that y is equal to the sine of u and we can treat this as a as a simple trig function problem. So pretty much now our y prime is going to be equal to the cosine of u times du dx. And well, we know that u is equal to the inverse cosine of x right here. And then we just need the derivative of the inverse cosine of x by itself. And I give you a formula for that. That is, if u is cosine, the inverse cosine of x, then du dx is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared and then adding the derivative of x which is 1 we can just omit that and we simply plug this into here and this into here and we will be done so y prime is going to be equal to the cosine of the inverse cosine of x times or du dx which is negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. We can simplify this a little bit more by saying that this is equal to x. So our final result would be that y prime is equal to negative x over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So by separating it into different parts, you can make a problem that looks a little bit more complicated, very simple. Well, let's solve more. We have that y is equal to the inverse tangent of the square root of x. And well, we can solve this the same way we did the previous problem. We will say that u is equal to the square root of x. So then y going to be equal to the inverse tangent of u so then our y prime would be 1 let me fix that 1 over 1 plus u squared from the formula times du dx we can find the du dx from here. And it would be one half. This is using the power function because the square root of x is equal to x to the one half. So then the, x, the derivative of x to the one half is this. One half times x to the negative one half because one half minus one is negative one half times one which is the derivative of x we can omit that as well and now we add that the y prime is one over one plus the square root of x squared so we can just write x times one half times x to the negative half and there's all not much simplifying to do so you can just leave this like this and well that's the answer and you can see that separating the into parts can make it so much simpler and now I'll do 
one more problem. We have that y is equal to e to the negative 2x over the inverse sine of x. And in this case, we have to use the quotient rule. So y prime is going to be first the derivative of the numerator, so e to the negative 2x times negative 2 times the denominator, which is sine of negative 1x, the inverse sine, minus the opposite. So the numerator times the derivative of the denominator. Using the formula, 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And that is over the denominator squared. And for this case, again, there's not much simplifying to do, so you could just leave this as a result. Oh well, those were the two problems I wanted to solve. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos.